Fuck Applebee. Fuck Apple. You guys been paying attention. We've been away for a while, so. Man, they've been on a fuck shit. You know, which we'll touch on later what's been going on in LD world. But while we've been away, Apple has been feeling and it's been looking really fucking marvelous. Yeah, yeah, yeah like they. Where, where you want to start with fail number one? How about that? The, what is this shit called? The power, <laughs> the, the air pow power, air power, air air brick. I don't know if you so air, like sun. You know D brand? You gotta know D. Have you watched D, any touch video? D brand fucking, is the uh the the yeah the covers right yeah. So for every D brand skin that you get, mm -hmm. they do a video, and it's nice. It's got it's got a female. It's real minimalistic, and she's like, all right, here's how you put it on. Boom, you slide it around because there's like a method to it. Right. That I So you gotta get line wrong. it up and you know. I get wrong all the time. But I can't the, get this shit on. D brand shit is actually easier and better. Can you get some air in this motherfucker? Sure. Yeah, cool, cool air. A little cool, yeah. yeah. D brand D brand skins are usually way easier to put on the screen protectors. Gosh. I don't know how or why. Maybe just D brand puts a lot of shit ton of money behind. You know that bird king right there. Man, so. yeah, is that close? Where? Right did, fucking there. Make the right? No, it looks like this. Oh, shit. And yeah, I do have a right. What's on that window, son? Two for seven? Two for seven mix or match. Just add or cheese. Match. Guys, the All I go is for the two cheeseburger meals. Son. Two, two cheeseburgers. That, that right there is a Whopper. I get that. I got that that heroin scratch going on. <laughs> so <I'm> just, <laughs> Why you just gonna get a normal fish? Why you gotta get a big fish? Cause there's a Burger King only sells a big fish. Wow. Just, wow. <laughs> Fuck it. So D Brand puts out a video on April first. Okay. Here's how to apply a D Brand skin to your Apple Air Power. Really, to the, the 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 power thingy thingy. Yeah. Okay. So like, this so, is mind you in my mind. I'm like, wait, son, there's nothing fucking there. I right, okay. So, so she's like, you need to peel the skin off, but like the the person in the video is doing shit, but there's nothing there. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's a hoax video. It's, yeah. Yeah, hoax. Because usually there's a phone oh, there and yeah. people are doing shit. There's no skin. There's no air power. There's none of that shit. Son of shit was fucking hilarious, son. Yeah, no, nah, that's... <clears throat> that's I, uh, it took me like maybe 10, 15 seconds in before I was like, wait, they out here trolling hard. Yeah, that's a huge troll. Like hard. But anyway, so Apple with the air power, and I'll never forget it. They got on stage and they did all this shit. And such and such, and then he dropped a line. Is it Phil? Whatever the name of that dude. He goes, but our engineers know how to do it. Like the rest of the industry's fucking dummies. But our engineers know how to do it. Oh. And then they went like a year or a year and a half without, without the shit showing up. And that was it. That was it. And then they came out was like, yeah. Yeah, they announced it like. September like 2017 or something like that. Something like that. Something like that. I was just like, look at these fuck boys. <laughs> look at these fuck boys. So the the shit behind it is, what they were saying, they was talking that bullshit. You can put it anywhere on the map. Right, because it's supposed to have a huge amount of sensors that pick right, up like, not sensors, coils. The coils, the coils. So, so like most of these coils. things have like one coil, mm -hmm. and they say very clearly, put it here where the coil is. Yeah, like this right here. Right. I don't know what this is. It's, it's Cadillac a, be wilding. Fucking assholes. And it doesn't work. It doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't. It works when it wants to. Well, we've seen it work. But yeah. It refuses to work. Now. We put about fifteen minutes into this shit in total, and it's never. We got it to work like once. Yeah, mm. it's very annoying. Mm -hmm. You know, like you got something stuck in your teeth, and you yeah. can't get to it. Yeah, and like right. all day because you can't get to like a toothpick or something. And, and then your tongue gets sore because you, you're right. scraping on your teeth trying to get. But it you can out. go about your business, but you be like, "Fuck, this thing doesn't work." Yeah, man. that's what that feels like. Mm -hmm. Every time I get in this truck, I'll be like, "Damn, yeah, you gonna work today?" Like right now. Nah, ain't gonna do oh, that. Whoa, 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 I just, whoa. I just whoa. be funny. It ain't gonna work. Oh! <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Son, 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 
Hey, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Get out. Get out. Get out. Son, get in the front. This you is know. what I'm talking about. This fucking thing. So, son. My well, all right. Now. All right. So, hold on. Hold on. Take me to my Bentley. <laughs> what the fuck, son? So, so, I know what I'm realizing. If it fits in here, it probably would work. It's going to work. Okay. My phone doesn't fit in here. Mine I, neither. I, I tried it without the case. It doesn't fit in there. Hold Samsung on. Samsung S9, regular. Holla. And they say we don't have value in these streets. Son. Oh my god, son. son. Well, Fuck big phones. That that was quite epic right there. That's, so. fucking, that's, that's <laughs> hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so most, go back to the most things that are like one coil and you got to be centered. Yeah. Apple's thing is, no, we want you to be able, which makes sense, right? I don't want you to, no, that's fine. I don't want you to have to, let's order this food. Thing. Yeah. We definitely need to get this food up. Can I get a number two with a large frappe? Sure. Uh, can I have how many? Uh, yes. Can I have a, a ten piece nuggets with barbecue sauce? Uh, number uh, the king deal, the king meal deal beef. The king meal deal beef. Yes. Yes. Okay. Say that. What? Say Coke. that again. Coke. Uh, a Coca Cola. Uh, yes. Can I have the uh, mix and match? Which uh, one? Um, a Whopper with cheese. Okay. And a big fish. Let me have a, a, a medium onion rings. And you could give me another another frappe large caramel. Okay, no problem. That's what you can order? Yes, ma'am. Will do, thank you. Shit, much better than fucking Literally, White Castles. Wild cheap oh, no, McDonald's. Wow, White, White Castles, I would have spent $40 easy. That was that was about $40 at McDonald's. Hell yeah. Apple's thing is you should be able to put put your whatever wherever and it charges I'm not totally against that idea but the problem is in order to do that the coils aren't intelligent it's just simple simple science right so you got to put more coils 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 everywhere mm -hmm. these buffoons yes, can't figure out how to get multiple coils they said it was upwards of 30 of them mm -hmm. without shit blowing up or overheating right Mind you, if the rest of the industry was able to do this, it would have been done, right? But remember, Apple's engineers know how to do this. Sure they do. So it was a, it was a whole big thing. They they pretty much came out and took that L. Was like, yeah, all right. So that's not happening. Then there's the AirPod thing. The new AirPods come out. The 2.0. Well, that's the thing. People call them a two point. It's not. It's not. It's like it's just, more like one point. It's two. not even. But Apple, they just said it's the AirPod. So uh, nothing right. really changed except for the fact that the uh, I think they changed the chip in it. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's a not a W connection. chip. It's an H or some, something like that. Um, and then they changed the um, the the base charge uh, is wireless now. It takes wireless charging. Yes. Yes. So yes. you can charge it on your. Air, or, air or power your, that you don't have. Air power that's not actually happening. Right. So the issue with the the air the AirPods is no one was asking for wireless charging or faster fucking processor in their headphones. The problem was these fucking things falls out of everyone's ear. Yeah, they want it matte and they sound like shit. They want it matte black. Whatever. Well, they don't sound they don't sound bad. Let me rephrase yeah, that. No, they don't sound bad. But because bad. you can't get them good enough properly in your ear, you know, it's not really a good listening experience so that that's kind of where that that whole shit fanned out right uh then there's the there's the news plus that they released which is actually not bad because i'm on a monthly trial but there's nothing super special about it right it's just um apple's trying to corner the magazine market yeah here we go and it's working in their favor because the magazine market is already hurting yeah, like print it's, print, it's is, print is done <laughs> Print is struggling. And it, the difference is like when you see, you may not remember, but like 
magazine work is highly curated. Right. Like, it's actually super dope. And it's like true journalism, you know what I mean? It's back in the throw. <laughs> Inside 100% of it. Oh, there you go. That's so fucking bugged up. So we've taken the shit off. <laughs> okay, okay. Like you see the little plastic shit? We've taken that off. Yo, people probably thought we was in here stashing fucking cocaine in the country. Because we were both like... We were both like this... Swapping shit, all of a sudden shit was wild. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. What's the news plus? You know, you know Google News? Yeah. So this is the version of Google okay. News. But they found a way to get, is it $10? So they're starting to put exclusive, because they bought a magazine company. Is oh, it so they, Texture? They, they bought Texture. So basically they merged it in the New York Times. Right, right. And New York Times and them is playing ball because they're hoping that Apple can get it out there as well they can actually because of the subscriber base. I'm sorry, because of the installment base. It's it's a better chance of them getting more subscribers because right now on their own they're just fucking Yeah, everybody's killing them. They, yeah. But I, you know, I, I I perused it a little bit. The content is dope. Magazine content is fucking dope. Like even like the photography shit. There's a ton of shit in there like you won't see like well thought out articles. Purpose shit. Is it worth ten dollars a month for Apple? I don't know. Then they got the Apple credit card. I said like I mean there's nothing wrong with the credit like whatever. You know what I mean? Like But like it's crazy to see like yo, these motherfuckers are out here reaching. They're re like your business model is to like I don't even know what their business model is. Like Steve Run the Jobs world. thing was like, yo, this is the dopest product you need right here. Boom. Now Tim Cook, I don't know, his his shit is just like drive business, no matter what that is. And well, this I think they saw a problem. It's one lies of catching up. And for their hardware, the lies of catching up, right? First off, Steve Jobs made one huge mistake before he died. He died. That's actually a mistake number two. <laughs> yeah. The huge mistake was anything seven inches dead on arrival. Yeah. I disagree. Right? And the world has proven that that was right. Without him setting the parameters of what this shit should be and how it should go and what we're going to stay at the core business. And defining what the core business is, it leaves the next dude doing everything wrong, which is what we're seeing here. Now, no one could predict what game developers have seen, and now I'm sure tech companies have seen it, which is you got consumers who have a voice on the internet that can be seen at a lot at a level higher than anything ever known to man. So if you do something wrong with your with your product, and someone on the internet that has enough followers, you're getting buried. You're getting buried. And then you got smart people on the internet that can sit there and navigate through and don't care whether or not you sponsor their video because they have money to purchase the product. That means a lot. That means you can't fuck up. That means you gotta be honest. That means you gotta be on top of it. So when you start finding out that, oh, I ain't gotta buy the MacBook Pro because I can get X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D from this over here, Oh, I can build a hacking time? Oh, wait a minute, I ain't gotta do nothing time. I can just go build this PC. Or I can go buy this PC from this company already pre-made to do all this. Oh, Final Cut Pro isn't the definitive. Oh, I can run Pro Tools on something other than a Mac product. Oh, I don't need to be an Apple dude to do design work. Oh, like once these lies start catching up, and it's no longer, like, it's dying the fact that, oh, this dude doesn't have an Apple product, so he's not a professional, that's dying. I haven't I haven't ran into that perspective in a while. In a while, right. Yeah. And now you're looking at the phones. <clears throat> now I kind of feel some kind of way about the phone situation, but it's proof that Apple out here is stealing. And it's becoming wide known because every time now Apple dudes is done with the Xbox dudes been doing. Y'all been sitting around throwing your dick down everybody's fucking throat when nobody cared. Now that we care, 
you're stealing shit from other companies and now we're like oh what's this you got a curtain now what's a curtain apple who had that yeah. first i think that's that's the that's what to me is the feeling that's these type of things is what makes apple feeling to me because they never had to do shit like that right double, like, double everybody down. else in the industry was like oh what you doing over here i want a piece of that it was a big you know like that's how that shit worked but apple was always like Psh, please you <laughs> you guys are amateur though you know that right. you know and saying? for the last like six seven years that's all we're seeing is Apple's like, uh, let me get a piece of that. Yeah, and they, and they don't have to. As much as I fucking be hating Apple on little random shit, I always still gave it its props where it was supposed to be. You know, without them, I don't know where our touch screens would be at. Without them, I don't know where, you know, our designs would be on phones, period. Yeah. Because everybody was doing some form of copy. You know, yeah. HTC being one of them and Huawei, my like, God, Huawei. HTC was leading before Apple. They were doing it in a nice way, though. Like, you remember the, 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 the UI on the diamond? The touch diamond? Yeah. That shit was dope as fuck, and they had the rounded, and, like, they were going the right way before. Yeah, UI-wise, right, but talking about the hardware. No. Because no one's buying it if you look like trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to me, the G1 phone was trash, but the only reason why that, the, the only reason why people bought into it was... Yo, this is this new shiny thing. No, it's Google, really. It's Google. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, to me, everything is just catching up. Yeah. They can't hide anymore. Is it? And they're on, it's crazy because it doesn't matter if they can hide or not. They're on autopilot. That money's long. It's long, but if someone's looking down the line, trying to hold this lead for another seven years, that's why they amping up everywhere else. To me, all, yeah. these, all these things that we're hearing about, Apple credit cards, just that, all this is panic purchases. Like, I can understand getting a Macy's card. I can understand getting a, 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 a PC Richards card. I can understand getting all these other cards. Hell, there's another company out there who I can work for. I can understand why I'm getting their, their card. Right. But the thing is, is Apple really doing enough to where they can validate that card to someone that's not an Apple primary yeah. user? But then again, the <clears> question <throat> is, how many people are Apple primaries? I think... Uh... My consensus here was Apple's failing. Well, I don't think they're failing. Because it's hard to look at that market cap. I feel like this is what we're seeing is Apple's fall from grace. I mean, they get involved in TV now, which I knew it was coming. They just bent the knee. Yeah. All that shit's on is it certain certain streaming TVs. Yeah. How long before it's on Android TV? Yeah. So. Some of your fucking My bad is one of your many <laughs> double burgers. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Well I feel like <clears throat> you know, I'm my mouth all but fuck it. The Apple credit card. It's more buffoonery, but if I can play devil's advocate, what they're trying to do is they're trying to tie in a way to purchase Apple products at a lower rate. Yeah, in a way. Yeah, but you don't get any bricks for using the Apple card. Right now. So, what they'll do is they'll say, well, you can use this Apple. I mean, it's powered. It's, listen, it's, everything is powered by Visa. There is no such thing as a Apple card. If it has a Visa logo on it. Now, if it's a. The bank behind it is Goldman Sachs. Okay. I think it was Goldman Sachs. Sony has a car too, right? What? I don't know. Yeah, they had a car. Closest. I think Sony's card is, is, is MasterCard. I think their card is MasterCard. So, when I say powered by. Powered by Visa, Visa, powered by MasterCard. 
uh, the card. Well, I, I, honestly, I'm I'm willing to bet that they're trying to go through go to the whole um, card integration with the phone, tap the, uh, the the thing, or whenever your purchase ready, uh, uh, you go to you go through the phone to make the purchase. That would probably. Uh, is that was that the premise behind their card, or were they actually going to a physical card? Because I didn't see card too. Okay, so it's, it's going made of titanium or whatever the fuck. Yeah. All right. But <clears throat> did it feature any logos on it? Was it a, yeah, a, a Visa? Apple. Visa no, it's logo. Just Apple. It's just. But Apple. it is it is a Visa card. Yes. Right. So. What was I saying? And the bank behind them is Goldman Sachs. It's Goldman Sachs. Mm -hmm. So. You have, uh, uh, it's with, it's the same thing that GM is doing with their GM rewards, their GM rewards and their GM card. They have a card as well. It's uh, it's powered by Mastercard, and uh, any discounts you could get discounts on um, um, when you service your car. There's parts discounts. Mm -hmm. There's all types of discounts that you can you can receive when you use. The, the the card that they provide and um you get that all the time so with um the apple card when you go into the apple store uh whereas if i walk in with my mcu visa card well I, i'm not uh privy to the opportunities that the card the, the apple card has where i can get maybe 20 percent off for this or maybe 15% off for that. I'm not privy to those types of discounts as a, um, a, a Apple Card user would be privy to those um, those discounts. So from that method, I understand why Apple is willing to go out and and, and subscribe to a um, a credit card which is backed by Goldman, where the bank is backed by Goldman Sachs. That's all a partnership thing. Uh, one for Goldman Sachs uh, because Goldman Sachs, uh, all but tanked during towards that 2008 in the um, the whole that whole crisis we was going through with um, uh, yeah. with the financial yeah. market. So. Uh, they all but tanked. So now they're in a better position, but they're still not where they were. They're still not where they were. And they're in a in a way still doing the same fuck shit that they were doing before, just now with more rules and penalties. So now you got Apple saying, okay, you know what? Let me get let's get in bed with Goldman Sachs. Let's get them to the point where they used to be at least. And let's push out our Apple's out here trying to save them. No, they're not out there trying to save a bank because at the end of the day, I don't think, I, I mean, you know what? And I, I, I use that term bank loosely. Goldman Sachs is in a bank. They're a financial institution. All right. They're a bank. They're a, listen, I said use it loosely. They're a financial institution. So when you, there's a huge difference between your basic bank and a financial institution. Difference. The difference is the, a financial institution has their hand in different uh, things so, so take the bank right hear me out you have a, a Banco Popular it's a fucking bank nothing mm -hmm. more nothing less they don't have their hands in the the, the to the extent mm -hmm. they're into uh, 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 mortgage loans to the extent whereas a financial institution is a is is a, a widespread lending entity. So they lend to other banks. They lend to uh, like Goldman Sachs. Mm -hmm. They had um, they had uh, what do you call it set up? Um, they had four hundred one k set up. They had um, uh, uh, all types of uh, they 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 partner with. Um, companies with like let's say you are Ramon Trotman mm -hmm. firm that offers your your not your constituents but your employees uh, 401k Goldman Sachs will back you. Goldman that's Any where you go to do the same thing not, not, not all other banks but when I said financial institution they're into it uh, they're they're into more than just 
banking. Yeah, but so is all the other banks. Just like uh, Wells Fargo. Wells, Wells Fargo. It, Wells Fargo has banks, but they're a financial institution. So here's the description: Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs Group Incorporated is an American multinational investment bank mm -hmm. and financial service company headquarters in yep. New York City. Right. It's a bank. Now look up a bank. So it doesn't matter. This shit says it's a bank. It's a bank. It's a. It's a bank. Yeah. And, and all. But when you talk Goldman Sachs. Uh, a Wells Fargo, um, uh, a Citigroup, um, uh, uh, what is uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, J.P. Morgan. Mm -hmm. Now you're talking, you're talking companies that uh, started off small as a bank. That's where you can say, hey, oh, there's just a fucking bank. Mm -hmm. No, they're 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 into they're into funding um, funding diamond. Uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, people. Diamond excavation. They're into funding a uh, building in other countries. But that whereas, doesn't not make it a bank. Right, yes. It's a bank fundamentally. But so it's, a bank is a bank. Uh, There's well, different types of banks, but a bank is still a bank. I mean you I can't got exclude them from the conversation. No, I'm I'm not excluding them from the conversation, but what I'm saying is when you think about a bank, when I think about a bank, I think about your your typical like I said, bank. You think about popular, a brick and mortar. Brick and mortar. They, so you this, wouldn't you wouldn't consider ING direct a bank. Uh exactly. No, no. But it's a bank. That's the point. It doesn't matter what they do, <clears throat> it's still a bank. I'd like to get back to the card. Yeah. So here's here's the thing about the card that I do like. And this is what, this is where the other banks are now in trouble. Anybody that has an app, you're in trouble. Because the information that's gonna give you at a glance, it's something that none of these apps do. None of them have it down that way. I'm trying to tell you. You're talking about how Apple linked it. How Apple has the links and is able to tell you, you know, something's due in a week, something's, you know, yep. spent this much money, how you're spending it, where you're spending it. When you go into some of these apps, you know what I mean? You have to drill down so far to get that information. Most of those are the It's not even live. It's like, they'll be checking with your tables. And it's not live. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. And for one reason or another, I do believe like it's okay. For certain, you gotta log in. You have to sign in in order to see all that stuff. They, get, they you know, they, they burn you out. They don't keep you logged in out of uh, safety. Yeah. You lose your phone or something like that. So you can go back and forth on that, all right? But the way Apple's planning on doing it, from the demos that I see, if we have gaming apps, we have Google Analytics apps, we have all these other apps that give us so much information at a glance without even opening that. Right? There is no real bank app that does that other than tell you, oh, you just got this balance, or you just spent this much money, or you just did this. It's like if you got the alert set up. Mm -hmm. I have text alerts for mine that do more than the app does. The app, whenever I have the app on, it's like a wild delay between when I get that information. But it also doesn't tell me nothing useful unless I actively go into the app. Right. Which doesn't even do more than when I sign into the website. So, from that note, if Apple can provide this to a generation that's about to be in mad debt, or the new generation is about to be in mad debt, right? Mm -hmm. That's a win because no other app doing it, and you've already tried your other apps. So now if you tie everything into this, then, you know, why not give it a shot? So I mean, to me, it's a, it's a cool thing. Like, oh, I, the other thing I was thinking about was like the Fitbit stuff, right? right? The Fitbit stuff is cool if you ever use one. Of all the wild stuff that it tells you it tells you like how many breaths you take in a minute like little weird stuff like that so now getting the information that's really useful to you in the form of how you're spending your money you know this is like mint mint is like other I, I mean mint yeah mint is doing it but their their limitation is exactly what we're talking about the information they get from the bank is not yours right so now at probably, uh, Apple probably got it in a way to where like they can just shoot the shit off and get it Hit yeah, and, and there's, a, there's a big, there's a lot of infrastructure to make that happen. So but. To, to me, that's dope, and that's a problem for bank apps, and it's gonna be a good thing because now I may get a better bank app because of Apple. Well, my mm. my thing here is, and there's a lot of dopeness that the app does. So like, it has a number on it. Right. The the Apple Card has a number on it, but you can't see it. It's hidden. So it's like, you know, security measure. You don't know the fucking number of your card or whatever. 
And like when you pay for purchases online, it generates a temporary number to do that purchase. Okay. So there's, you know, there's less of a chance that you'll run into identity theft and all this stupid shit. Whatever. All that's cool. All what Snow said is cool. Yada, yada, yada. The problem is, what the fuck are you doing? Fix your phones. Get your air power ready. You get what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying there isn't innovation to be made in that area. Pro keyboard. What? No, I'm saying fix your MacBook Pro. Oh, yeah. Fix the fucking keyboard. Like, I'm not saying that it's not dope what they're doing. What I'm saying is this is a fucking fail because this is a technology company. What the fuck are you doing? It's a, like I mean, Snow it's said, a, it's a panic purchase. Right, but I, so to What if Microsoft th goes out there and starts fucking, but you know what? We're going to start, uh, we're, we're going to start selling, I don't know, fucking, we're going to start doing, not even, not even, just something so trivial like we're going to open grocery stores. What the fuck do you know about, like, why are you into grocery stores? It's uh, not, it's not your business model. And there's so much wrong in their business model. I was like, how much fucking enemy, how, how much energy are you putting into doing shit when you, you got a lot of dumb shit in the back that's not even working? Uh, so, I, you know, I'm going to try to play, I'm a, I'm, I guess I'm going to be playing devil's advocate for a lot of things today. Uh, so, uh, Apple has established themselves a, 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 a great foothold on, uh, on a market. Mm -hmm. Tech. Mm -hmm. Cell phones, computers, uh, MP3s, whatever, and now that is well established. Mm -hmm. They have made their money. They are now uh, uh, the highest selling tech company in the world. Mm -hmm. What else can we do? So you think they're trying to transition into being a lifestyle brand? Uh, I wouldn't call it a lifestyle brand. They're already a lifestyle brand, but uh, more or less, more or they less. They want to be a fashion fucking company. Well, I mean uh, that. Until they make, until they integrate Apple, uh, 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 Apple Science into a fucking hoodie, yeah. Well, it's they, a, they tried with the watch, but there was a fucking there was a fourteen gold version of the watch that they tried to convince people was worth it, and then there's a fucking five thousand dollar Hermes strap. Well, yeah, it's not five; it's like twelve. That's the one that my my, my wife wants, and I, and I'm still listen, and it's I get you. Look. Stupid. Look, I get you, and I'm still I'm still pondering as to why she wants a strap that's costing this that that is raising the value of this of this watch to uh, sixteen hundred dollars. All and, right, and the shoe is obsolete right now. Right, and then the strap fails or tears or frays or does something that now you have to send it. I mean, look, I don't that it doesn't make sense, and I'm not saying that. Um, Apple should or should not do it because the, 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 the fact of the matter is there is a market for someone that wants a Hermes strap. There is a market for someone I that think so. I, I think so because there is always somebody that wants something better than the next person. It's like a hundred dollar all white Supreme shirt with just the Supreme logo on it that sells for $100. it's a it's a, a, a fucking Supreme shirt. That's and, and it, it hold up, but and it resells for yeah. for four thousand. I understand and what you guys are saying. Yeah, people are going to buy it, whether it's a thousand people. Listen, they don't put out a thousand or or five thousand pieces of this one Hermes piece. Mm. They're going to put out a couple a couple of hundred, and it's going to it's. A, they have already done the math on how it will sell, mm -hmm. and whether it sells out. Or it sells a couple. We're not concerned about it because one, it's a partnership. All right. So Hermes gets is is in on this. Apple is in on this, and it is what it is. Fair enough. So the point is, we're not we're not quantifying how much how much it makes sense or doesn't make sense because there's a market out there for it. Let's sell it. Hype be shit. That's all it is. And hype be shit. Is not based on what the company says hype beast shit is or is not. Hype beast shit is based on the hype beast themselves. That shit is hype. It word spreads and now everybody's buying. So you think Apple, that's where they want to be? I, you know. So they're about to start selling toothbrushes, the eye brush. And that's not far off. Not far at all. Not far at all. It's if you're a tech company, right? Because I, I disagree that they are listed as a tech company. 
right? I think they do just some, some, some hardware and they got some, some technology that goes into that, but I wouldn't call them a tech company. Most tech companies are in multiple avenues. If they're going to be a tech company, then they're going to expand into other shit like that. I feel like... Like Google is a tech company. Google is a tech company. But I feel like Apple... Apple... Apple is Apple's great ambition is not placing limitations on them as a company. And that is how I feel about a lot. I am not limiting myself to one type of something. I, so what you're saying, really what I'm hearing is Apple is just trying to get money. It's a company. However I mean, they're, you get they're, this money. That's the that's the goal of a company. That's the goal of a company. So uh, like let's get company. About to shut down. Let's let's get money. However, like son. There isn't there not an Apple car in the work in the in the in, like in no, they not in it and now they're saying that it's they they had like three hundred something engineers and then they said they moved them and now they I saw a rumor this week reallocated them. yeah they brought them back and so but the, the, the it's essentially the point that I'm making is if we have the money to do it right and. We can essentially, we may not make it into production, but we can try our hand at uh, what they call uh, um, when something doesn't make it into concept. What now we're conceptualizing what what this something would look like. I have a problem and with then that. we oh, all right, uh, and hold that thought. So we're conceptualizing what it would look like. We now move it into pro a production stage. Mm -hmm. So this is what now, physically, this is an Apple car. We're going to work on this. This vehicle we're in is an Apple car. It does this. It does that. Right. It can drive you here. It can drive you there. I ain't got to keep my fucking hands off it. Yeah, it has a conversation. Samsung phone. And charges his <laughs> Samsung phone. <laughs> so, so now, um, this is a one of one. Okay. Now we have to make this make sense to all of everyone out there. That is the goal of a company. How can I make this car make sense to you? And if I can't make this car make sense to you, then it doesn't make sense to produce it. Because it'll cost more to produce it and fail than it will to push it out and uh uh um um, and, and get a few and, and make and sell a few as long as if it and mind you now sell a few now you start playing with numbers how many does it take for this uh, 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 for like us said, to not make the money for this to fail they do the math already they know right so now that we now what is your point now you said you had a point where you disagree no you I know. said I, I don't have a problem with that yeah, exactly. oh okay okay going back to what I have a problem with you motherfuckers ain't fixing the rest of the shit in your pants like your excess so the next song that's my so when you look at when you look at how Apple got here it was by Steve Jobs and Steve Jobs would not let you move forward until this was fixed right so you think right. these motherfuckers could have a keyboard issue if Steve Jobs was alive? You think you could put an iPhone flat on a table and have it wobble when Steve Jobs is alive? No. No. You get what I'm saying? Or an mm -hmm. iPad. Like, these are things. It's just like, yo, all this fucking energy, like, you you could have spent, you spent 100% energy out here working on an Apple car. Yo, bring 15% bring of that back to fix the fucking keyboard. And then they're being nefarious about these things. There's no issues with the keyboard. Right. But then a generation two shows up. And then they try, like, yo, what the fuck? And I get it. You know what I'm saying? That, that's my point. Like, yo, that's a fucking fail. I, you, you out here trying to sell me a credit card, but you can't sell me a fucking proper desktop? When I feel like- I'm not with a, it. I feel like when a company as large as Apple gets too big for their britches it's like i right, look it's at this point in time they're playing hit or miss all right because they have the capital to do so all right we're, well I'll listen our, capital, look man. bro but look our keyboard is fucked what right, whatever in whatever way shape, shape or form mm -hmm. it's fucked but that's how that's that's covered 
under this department, all the way on this south southern friggin' ring of our uh, uh, of our yep. uh, 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 company of of where our base company is on the southern wing. So everyone over there, make sure y'all get that shit fixed. On the northern side of our uh, wing of our our illustrious campus, we got somebody cooking up a, a, a card over here. Yeah. And, and 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 we think it's going to revolutionize the way you use cards. They're a company like I. One thing, one thing as as I would say as critiquers of um, any and everything tech, any and everything gaming, any and everything Nike, whatever. We we keep the same energy for a company that has long surpassed our idea of what we think a tech company should or should not be. I don't disagree. And I think that when, if we're going to be a uh, fuck Apple, then we have to understand that Apple has now, since it was, uh, since di since we day one, fuck Apple, uh, we have to keep in mind that Apple has long since surpassed can, what, whatever we thought they were then. Can I jump in there? Go. The problem is, your motherfuckers was bashing Microsoft when they was doing X, Y, and Z. Yeah. Yeah, but my, my PC blue screen once 10 years ago. Fuck yeah. that. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh -huh. So Microsoft is doing all this other shit, mm -hmm. but it came back down to Windows sucks. That's not what we're talking about. Right. But that was what was important to the entire fucking world. So you know what? Fuck Apple. Yeah. Your keyboards are broken. Right. Fix your it. phones suck. Mm -hmm. Your cameras are not good anymore. That's my point. You, yeah, and how I, does listen, nobody get a pass but Apple does? Listen, and I look, you you I can't I can't agree with you more. I can't agree with you more. I'm sure Snow agrees with you as well. The problem is at this point in time, if we if we're still arguing uh what Microsoft wasn't allowed and what Apple is now allowed, we're just ranting. We're just ranting. No, it's not ranting. That shit boy. People, Microsoft failed for 30 years because of Windows. It's Bro, not real talk. Windows right. 95. Right. But you know what? Windows 95, son. Listen, listen. But uh, all right, so I'm going to throw this one at you. I don't care how many times you fail. Because a fail doesn't mean that you're, you're now uh, uh, at the bottom of the barrel. A fail means you now have to rethink what you did and come back strong. Not necessarily. So the nope. reason why Apple gets the pass is what? because they came in as a savior to two or three different things that we talked about. Uh, Bro, but before that, before that, before that, before that, Microsoft became the devil when they, uh, 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 the the um, the country, the federal government ruled them a monopoly, which is what Apple has right now. No, right, no, no, yo, no, 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 yes, you're no, right. Which is a right. thousand percent you're what right. Apple has you're right, right. now. Y'all talking but, on a level that don't matter to consumers. Right, it don't. But no, but no, that's the stigma. They can't did. shit. That did. They it can't did, shit that it stigma. did. Uh, 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 it did matter to consumers because consumers they were saying, wait a minute. What? Wow! I didn't know this. I didn't. Why is it that uh, uh, when I buy this and and you had all of these companies, you had Yahoo, you had Ask Jeeves, you had everybody under the sun. Like, yo, Microsoft is doing X, Y, and Z, and they in order to in order to run my system, I have to have a, a Microsoft operating system. And they're like, wait, what? And then the co the consumer is looking at that like. You know they're right, yeah. son. That never has went away. that has remained, and that is why Microsoft can't win at this point in time because of things like that. So now here you have now your saving grace, Apple. Apple flies in everything white, everything white. You got this white iPad, this white iPhone, this white earbuds. This white everything. So now you coming in with all of this pure white shit and everybody's like, yes, this is what we needed. They're thinking about the consumer and this is what's going on. And now, now they can't fail because they've solidified and cemented themselves in the minds of everyone that says Apple can do no wrong. And it's and all it takes is a few million to say the company can't do no wrong. Son. Let me remind motherfuckers 
that the government came after Microsoft. Son, son. And the dude at the the helm of Microsoft has legitimately cured diseases in Africa with that money. So they don't give a fuck. They they don't give a they, they don't give a, they don't give a but fuck. But the savior, the dude at the helm of the savior, died with his money in his bank account and never donated it to fuck. And never gave less than a shit about his and own fucking daughter. And denied his fucking daughter to this deathbed. And he is quoted at every fucking graduation in America. Kanye West Get the closer. fuck out of here with that. Son. Get the fuck out. They do not get a pass. Apple does not get a pass. Yeah. I mean, Apple would never get a fucking pass. I like, want to make sure that we're on the record saying, I'm not saying that. I'm just telling you. That. Yeah, no, we know that. Yeah. Pass. Yeah, yeah. We, I think we're we're all on the same accord and then on the same page. It's just we're trying to, like sometimes you try and. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, oh son, we're definitely transitioning. Listen, fuck Apple, fuck, fuck Apple. the fucking car, cause I won't have it. Fuck Goldman Sachs, because they're doing the same shit they did in 2007, and they are going to fall on their heads. All of these institutions are going to fall on their head again. Just give it some time. I hear next year is going to be the year. It's always next year. For the recession. Oh, uh, another recession? Ah. I can see that. Ah. Might as well do something with my $10 in my account. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Samsung. You think Samsung's got an incoming in L? Oh, big time. Galaxy foldable L's. Huh. Yeah, it's already 90 degrees. What's an L in the face? A backward L? <laughs> I don't think folding that fucker backwards because you fold J? you fold that shit backwards, it's broken. In Tetris, it is a J piece. It's, it's a J piece. <laughs> so we should we should preface this with with two things. We look at a, a prior Samsung L. And then Which we, one? We look at how Only dope one. the thing is. I mean, the battery the the battery, battery thing L. was a big L. That was an L. I don't think. I thought the battery was so much bigger of an L than this. And they weren't even phased by the battery shit. They just... Like, this, they legitimately were not phased by that. I thought that was the most interesting. The I battery thought is the, a bigger L, though, because that had security problems. Son, it was like, you couldn't bring that shit on the airplane. Yeah, that had security problems. That, I that thought was the bigger L. The only company that could shake shit like that was legitimately Apple. I was shocked to see Samsung be like... Brush it off the shit. That's when I realized Samsung is really bigger than I give them credit for being. All you gotta yeah. do is walk around. Yeah. 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 Yeah, everybody at home, do we got a Samsung? Samsung, and they look at Samsung um, smart devices. Interesting. Yeah. All right, I thought, so, all right. Off the bat, I, I think, I think the Galaxy Fold is dope. I think I think it's I think it's uh, again. I thought you would like it a lot. I think it's conceptually dope. Right. But let me take a deep breath. Man. So first of all, I, I wanted to start off this conversation by saying, "Fuck you, fuck you." I never said nothing about you. And, and, big phones. And, and and no 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 and you too because you engaged in it as well. About what? I don't know where this is going. When I had a Samsung Galaxy 3 and 4, that shit was oh, terrible. You can still get this shirt. That shit That's was the terrible, man. Hold up, 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 hold do you want the journey? Son, hold up. So <laughs> hold up. How hold long up. did I lose? How long did I leave them? And hold when up. did I leave them? Hold up. Yeah. I had a yeah. phone and I got crushed. For, I had a Samsung phone, Galaxy S whatever. I had two oh, Sam, I had a yeah, blue one. Phone. I had a blue one and I had a white one. So that shit was trash. I got I got mangled. Because it was a plastic phone, the UI was shit. Listen, you ain't gonna get an argument from me. The, the UI was shit. It still looked nice, whether it was a plastic phone or not. It was a plastic phone. You like that cartoony shite. Hey man, hey man. I grew up on Saturday morning cartoons, b. Nah, son. Those those Sam that Samsung back in the day was fucking trash. I'm just saying, y'all shitted all over my dreams of being a Samsung connoisseur. 
Yeah, so. Now it's just like now but I. But you never got the note. I never got the note. I never got. That the was note. the thing. You never got a note. You and I really a note. I really wanted a note. Um, and you know we all you know we always had that uh, that that argument about um it, it's it's a bigger a bigger screen better. Yeah. And I've always I've always stood firm and fast to a, a bigger screen. Like some not, big ass hands. Yeah, that too. That too. Not so much as that bigger is better, but when it comes to a screen, like not only do I have big hands, but I wear glasses. Yeah. So I need to see the shit. I don't want to make my 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 fonts bold. Understood. I don't want to increase the size of my fonts. I just want to be able to see them. Yeah. And you know, a bigger screen makes better sense. Now, now I gotta double down when they come out with a fucking folding screen. So it's essentially this device folded into nope, one not even. it's it, it what is so it's, it's thicker it's thinner it's thinner no it's the think of it this way when a device is folded you only get three rows of icons all right look so this this is what i mean i'm gonna tell you. so you take this off here it's not that much not that much thinner or thicker so Essentially, yeah, this is like that. this is what yeah, we're something like that. Yeah. This is what we think we're looking at when we uh, yeah. fuck that. That's no good for my skinny jeans. Fuck, fuck, son. I, I don't, I don't have yeah, skinny jeans on, but I, I, I'm trying to figure you out to get some skinny jeans. So. Yeah. Yo, some stretchy little jeans, baby. Yo, uh, uh, not can't to be a superhero because <laughs> I don't wear skinny jeans. <laughs> <laughs> not to change subject briefly, but. I understand why these hype beast motherfuckers uh, uh, have integrated the fanny pack across the back and across the uh, front. Can't get nothing in the pockets. Can't get nothing in the fucking pockets. Yeah. Because these jeans that I have on here, I mean, look, B, come on. Come on. Yeah. They're, 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 they're pretty, I mean, they're comfy, but they're tight. You know, so, I used to play tennis in my younger years. You played tennis? Yeah, for five years. Sure. I was like five years old. That is too much work for me. Play tennis. And what you would do is you would wear like spandex under your tennis shorts to keep the man parts intact. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> you, see, you see Jordan do it. Yeah, he wears the. He wears got, the that's, that's what that is. Keep your balls from bouncing. You know? Whatever. Uh, I prefer the ball story. Yeah, the ball story does sound much more. Appealing. Now it gives it gives one comfort to walk around all day in jeans that keeps the balls in place. You understand? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's confidence to not have to worry about swaying when swagging. You understand? Okay, so okay. Get, get you some skinny jeans, son. Okay. With some stretching. But yeah, so I think. Outside of the big L, I can take this shit off. outside of the big ass L that we're about to discuss here, yes, sir. the the foldable the phone itself had some things you had to get past. It had it had like I wouldn't even call them negatives. It was it's it's a it's a 1.0 product. So yeah, there's some things yeah. that would like annoy you. It has 1.0 issues, right? So one is the obvious was the crease. Oh, that, yeah. You know, no, they, that, they said the crease. That was a, a deal breaker for me. I'm sorry. Apparently, you can get used to it. You can get used to it. Because like, it's like not... The, like the fucking notch, right? That right. everyone is still prosecuting right. uh, Apple for. They should be prosecuting. <laughs> they should be prosecuting. Hold up, wait. But everybody's still prosecuting Apple for the notch, but everyone else has a notch. No, I'm, I'm prosecuting everybody. I'm prosecuting everybody else for that dumb shit, too. Bro, yeah. Why, yeah. Son, why do you think I have a Galaxy phone right now? They're the only yeah, motherfuckers who ain't like. Yeah. Son, the entire Android world was like, oh, Apple doing notches? Put a notch. Put a notch. No, first off, they made they made fun of them. Yes. For doing a notch. Google. Everybody made Google. fun of them, and then they went and did the shit. Google. Yeah, no, son, it's. I remember, I'll never forget Google with that Pixel shit. And uh, we don't have a notch. <laughs> <laughs> And there will be no difference between this phone and that phone. And oh, then oh, next oh, year, they came out with a fucking notch. notch. Like, and go the fuck yourself. That, phone and that, phone. that right there, I'm never owning a Pixel. You're off my list. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, and it you was a shitty a phone. And like, that Pixel's got lag. And how do you make 
a, a great phone terrible in the next iteration. Yo, Apple might have just bought Google because I don't understand. This source is fucked up. But anyway. There's still war between us. So the crease is kind of like, uh. Funny thing is, I've not seen it. Have you seen it in person? Nah, that's probably why. Yeah, it's there. It's yeah, there. it is. Yeah, it is. I saw it in. But it's not terrible. It's not terribly I'm not there. Not, I'm not paying two thousand dollars for it. I considered, but I have since. I'm I have since uh, went the other direction uh, for uh, obvious reasons. But <laughs> yeah. But then there's the the outside display. So when the phone is folded, and you have the outer, that. Son, that shit is like a, a, a third of your screen now. Right, but and that's my thing. All right, so that's fail number two. No, I don't think so. I think so. So the it screen, depends. look, the screen is essentially, the actual real estate is essentially about, it's, it's about as big as this. Give or take, give or take. No, it's not slimmer. Slimmer. Wait a minute. No, I mean, I mean the, the, the viewable screen. No. Wait. It's slimmer. So, it's about twenty five percent slimmer than that. If this is the fold, the viewable outside screen way smaller. It's it's physically smaller. Yeah. No, it, it's physically smaller, and then the real at the bars, and then it's got the bars all around it. Oh fuck out! That's a that's right. A, that's a why. That's the thing. I mean, if they if they'd have put a real like edge to edge display. You'd have been talking twenty six hundred now. I it's it's a fucking two thousand dollar phone. Which is okay. why which is why we looked at the Huawei. Did you see the Huawei version? Yeah, the Huawei, Huawei shit. You get the full screen, all three screens are edge to edge, but then these fucking idiots folded it the wrong way. So the Huawei version, when you fold it, so the a, other fucking edge of the screen is nah, I don't, under the bottom. To, to be honest with you, I don't think, um, first off, fuck all the phones. Fuck, fuck, fuck out there. Shout out to ZTE Axum, the Axum phone, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is more flop than fold, but I huh. think all of them have it folded the wrong way. It should be three screens. Your outside screen should be like the flip phone screen. Right? Remember when the flip phone had that display on the outside of the screen? Yep. Yes. The outside of your screen should be that. Whatever the cheapest or, or the best of the cheapest technology you could put for an outside screen so that way you have some functionality mm -hmm. and some real estate. And then when you open the phone, it's more than what the fuck everybody else is using. You know, I don't care who you pick it up from, whether it's Huawei, Samsung, or even Open. Right. That's the way that shit should function. I think it was Mr. Mobile I was watching where he was saying at first he was frustrated with the fact that the display on the front was so small and unusable and it makes you want to use it because you get your note you got a you got a desktop or a home screen I'm sorry yeah, right you got Rosa icon you pull up something you can text right but he was like when he shifted his perspective to think oh it's a power user outside oh, right. screen right right it, it changed it a little bit for him, right. but for me, and again, I don't have I, I, I don't have a lot of use time with the device. Right. I think I would get frustrated because do I want to unfold my phone every time I want to reply to a text? Oh hell no! But do I want to get frustrated every time I want to reply to but a I, text? But I don't with a small a, a fucking tiny keyboard. Well, first off, with Android, we use swipe. That's number one. Uh, I haven't used Swipe in about seven years now. Bro, so you, you was using the iPhone for a, a large part of that. So wow, up. Swipe is on the iPhone now. <laughs> yeah, it is. But I haven't, I haven't used Swipe. I haven't used Swipe in a long time. Yeah. All I use is Swipe, and to me, I use, I even do Swipe from pull down curtains. So to me, that's you not use a big the deal. Google keyboard still? Am I? No, I think I'm on the same thing. Because the Google keyboard has Swipe. If you're interested. All right, I'll probably keep going. But um, like, and I'm still using. The um, the Samsung Galaxy Player 4, right, which is probably as thin as all the rest of those phones that we're, that we're talking about. Right. If I'm still able to type on that, this is just everybody's first world problems. Right. Like you can, there's no way. It's not a candy bar. It's not a. It's not a Twix bar. It's not a. Not a Twix. It's not a Twix. Is pretty wide. When you think about it, it's not a a, a Nestle Crunch right. screen. Right. So I think every and plus if you're responding quickly, it's a one hand text. It's a one hand text, especially if you use a swipe. Well, everything is a one hand text for me because I text and drive. 
So, 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 really understand everyone's beef with that yeah. especially from a power use right? right power use and you got that at that screen right there that's just a utility screen get yeah. in get out right. i'm not sitting there telling you to watch videos on it True. i'm not sitting there telling you to fucking create powerpoint presentations on it or whatever it is right but if you could just use that screen real quick to do the quick things then you're in and out i it's think that was deal. the intent of it right but it comes off weird that it has all of the functionality so people are going to try to do all of the functionality and but I can whatever. See that too. Whatever. That's that's number two. Number three is the continuity. Yes, when you do something on the so you small started screen, something on the small screen and it carries and over. Exactly and this is something Apple is. would never release without figuring out. Yeah. So apparently, all of Samsung shit works beautifully. Right. It's the third party. And most shit of the Google shit, but like. You'll get a you'll all your other apps. They fucking up. Yeah, but we know this already. That's an issue that we know that. That's that, a one thing. That, that's what happened with the Android tablets. Right. That's that, what, exactly. That's what Android iPhone, tablets are still iPhone, apps. The iPads. When you had those apps, when they had to go from the iTouch. Which is iPad, which is still an issue, by the way. Still an issue, right? They've never fixed. For for instance, Instagram, but right. yeah. So well, that's, Instagram is not fixed. Where? Instagram is not an iPad app. It's, so on the iPad, iPad it looks like fuck. They use the iPhone. With Oh, so it looks like it looks like it does when you open it up on uh, the phone, like literally. On a so your big ass iPad on a computer? No, uh, son. The computer shit is funny as hell. Yeah, the computer yeah. shit is ass too, B. It's funny though. What on the browser? Yeah, yeah son. I like Instagram on the browser. Son, it, it could be it could be tweaked. Yeah. Here's what it looks like. And what that's the fuck is going on with this. The fucking it's bars it's, it's got two X mode. The, so right. that's the small mode. This is the regular mode, but you can make it bigger. Dark, but you see how it gets fuzzy and thick. So that's what's not. It's it's a problem. It's always going to be a problem. You know who figured it out though? Microsoft. But it don't matter because everyone but, is still looking at them as a monopoly. But. So the there's a big issue, and going back to the point with this this little bit of a conversation it's hard to call any of these three things complete fails but they're things you have to look past to really enjoy a product you know what i mean like all right this is 1.0 shit this is a little annoying right this is a little wonky mm. this could have been done better whatever what the fuck ever now nah. now we come to the the meat and potatoes <laughs> shout out to the highway me x now we come to the the, the I, I, I want to get back to that Huawei after we. Are uh, you you guys are well aware of what's going on with this fucking phone at this point, right? With the uh, fold. fold, with the Samsung Fold. Oh, uh, uh, it's falling apart. Now, oh right, the now. fucking screen. Now, <laughs> MKBHD, son, and, and I think. Uh, 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 somebody at the first Dieter and and um your boy uh, unboxing unboxing uh, uh, unboxing. Uh, there there's like three different issues here. Okay. So one issue is there's a protective film. Film. Yep. And motherfuckers <laughs> is like off you go. <laughs> oh God! I'm which is out. which is bugged Sorry. out because I remember. Sorry. And Son. Snow, you correct me if I'm wrong. Son. Because <laughs> when, when we bought the... Wait, you got an Holy S10 shit. or you got an S9? Holy shit. All right. When you get the <laughs> S10, it comes with a screensaver yes. on the motherfucker. Yes, Son. And I remember because the screensaver at first, it's on there so perfectly. Holy shit. You can't see it. And then you'd be like, what the fuck? Is nah, Son. get off my shit. So people are already like, oh, Samsung just sent this out with a screensaver. Son. It, there's hold up. There's one that sold on a foreign market that actually has a, 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 a warning not to peel the fucking thing off. Nah, this, so this is the discussion here. Oh, holy shit! Motherfuckers, because on the review units that these guys got, right? Which is totally possible. 
you know when you when you send reviewers things they're not it's a pre-packaging it's not a consumer or retail packaging right there's a possibility there's differences yeah you some, some sometimes many on all of their videos there's no warning don't you fucking touch that that is not a screensaver. <laughs> Do not touch that. There's none of that. Son. So you could say, I, Samsung just needs to do a better job at advertising that. But that's not the excuse. Right. Because the fucking thing looks like a screensaver. Son, people are going to fucking peel this off. Son, it, it, there was something else. There was something nah, else. No, there's, there's two more. There's two more. No, 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 no. I was saying a uh, uh, point to make. There was something else. I don't remember what it was. I can't remember if it was like some, something with a screen. Yeah. And it was... It was meant to stay on, and once you peeled it off, it was like it fucked up. It was another like blue. It was another product. This is years mm. ago. Years ago, you peeled it off. You realized you wasn't supposed to peel it off, and, and then and then like your your fuck like this happened years ago. I'm gonna I'm gonna find out what that was. Okay. Now, that was the first big oops. Yeah, that, that's a big oops. The second. Big oops. What the oops for who? Samsung. Samsung. I gotta tell you not to pick at the fucking. No, phone. it's a design thing. It's a design. It's thing. a design thing. So like, it, when son, it looks like a screensaver. That's it, son. It's like does anything on here? There's nothing raised or right. Everything's flush. Right. This looks like a fucking screensaver on the edge of the goddamn screen. Are you supposed to just peel off? Now, this go. The second part of this now. <laughs> There are two people out there who did not peel their fucking device, but dust yeah. got oh, under yeah. this, un <laughs> and the screen starts wilding out. Sorry. And then there's like another one where the screen just starts wilding out on its own. So this brings us to the issue of there's just wild reliability problems with this shit right now. Yeah. And Samsung is like, well, we are launching this. Yeah. So. There's no way take it that pass QA test. What's today's date? To 20th. 20, 420. 420. 420. Okay. And I don't know because, you know, we, we could well, get happy, back. Happy 420 day. 420. Happy 420. Sure. Should have brought the brownies. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. We, <laughs> we could get back. <laughs> We could get back to the crib, and then you, you see a big, oh, Samsung doesn't air power. Never mind. Yeah. Could happen. Yeah. Which would be, to be quite honest with you, a best case scenario. Yeah. Why I brought up the L with the battery, that was a very difficult thing for them to track down. Yeah. Yeah. And it was they a very would, difficult you thing to You would have never say. known that right. the battery was going to be an issue until you started getting issues with the battery. Right. Now, that I understand, right. and they survived that. Mm -hmm. This is totally in their control. Yeah, yeah. Guys, do not fucking launch this thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? As a handful of reviewers, I don't, maybe because I tell myself the reason they're so gun ho on still launching it is because they know there's a difference between what they gave reviewers and what they're about to release right. will then delay your launch, send the reviewers, yo, here's the retail version. Right. To prove that, yo, it's ready. Okay. Because if you launch this right now and motherfuckers is out there like, yo, there's a problem. And you go ahead, I don't know if they can survive that. Yeah. Son, you don't get too many L's. Well, they already got one. One major. This... I don't. I don't think they can really classify uh, the screen protector issue or the screen issue, or the lack thereof, uh, as an L until the consumer gets it in hand and starts peeling on it. That's the point of a lot of people, which I think is fair. You, know? you can't say it failed until people get it and it's failing. Yeah. But well, like. Hey, I I think I just thought about this like with the Apple thing. Mm -hmm. Power that everybody's forgetting. Mentioned it is that the reviewers, who are mainly YouTubers, 
are able to get their stuff and put out content. So yeah, you got the Verge and, and Gadget and all that. Which for Mac, Mac and Better Terms has their crowd and everybody's understanding. Right. But once it's on YouTube and regular users start seeing it, right? Mm. That's the problem because yeah. they're looking for this foldable. They keep hearing about it. Foldable, foldable, foldable. When I looked at my timeline, there was people who talk, that was talking about the phone that aren't considered techies. Right. Yo. Yeah, they, phone, they were clued I'm in. With it. They were clued into the fails or not yet? No, I don't think so. Not okay, yet. Okay, I got you. They said. just saw the, the announcement yeah. stuff. Yo, I heard Samsung got a foldable phone. I'm with it. Fuck yeah. Apple. Right. I'm about to get rid of this phone. Right. And I'm not making that up. This is like real stuff. Yeah. So now when this gets out, because there was no product out, but they heard the announcement or however they heard it, this is going to get out the same way. Yo, remember those foldable phones? Yo, I'm out. That's just trash. I'm yeah. out. I'm not with it. I'm not just about to spend 2000 on a phone that can break. By just opening it. Just by opening it. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. That's where you're going to take the L at. Yeah. That's why when we say with games, if your shit ain't ready, don't, ship. don't put nothing out. Don't ship. Don't even show rendering of clouds. Right. Only certain games could do that. I'm very worried that this was gonna. This is going to catapult Apple into the truly untouchable category. All they have to do is announce it. Because... And it works. These motherfuckers... So Samsung is like the only one that can truly rival Apple. Yeah. And they're in such a place right now, even the most loyal of Apple fan will tell you, yeah, Samsung is way ahead of me. I just love my Apple. So that's not an easy pill to hop, so to swallow if right. you. But it, it is what it is. But here comes Samsung with some dumb shit like this. This is going to shift the whole perspective. You ain't far ahead of the curve. You just out here throwing out bullshit. Right. All you have to do is put out a half-assed foldable phone with the wings. Oh, sorry. It'll be ahead of the Mate X. It'll be ahead of the Oppo. But in, it'll in be their, ahead of all of them. In their defense, Apple, which is not a stance I take often, I think Apple would at least get it half right. I don't think they, Apple they they don't, don't, get it half right. I don't nah, think they, they got to get it 75% right. Sa I don't know. You know what? I'd say... Yes, you're right. Samsung, yeah. I don't think Apple because, should be doing a foldable phone. Because, because no, they're going to do it. They got the patents. They, they got to do it. They, they just did it. the patents last year. Samsung, right? last year? I, I don't Here's think why they Samsung should. half right. Because Samsung dropped the shit, and they're not even first, they're not second, they're not third or fourth. And it's not even right. And it's not right. You get what I'm saying? But no one's paying attention other than us because our head is in the tech stuff like that. Oh, but don't, nobody knows about the other phones that work. Right. The Axum right now, which everybody saying is flop, to me is more value than a Samsung phone. Right, right. Oh, just briefly, you know what we spend those times your parents gonna find out? Not but might I offer you a cigar snack? <laughs> Sir, would you like a cigar? <laughs> How we doing on the sound? Good over here. I hate when he then I shot my hospitality. <laughs> <laughs> I dislike it when you don't <laughs> accept my hospitality, sir. Okay. So we all we all kind of on the same page with Samsung. I mean, I wish they'd have got it right. I wish they'd have got it right too. But I also feel like this is a time for everybody else to advertise that they make one. Yeah, it might be a good slingshot, right? Yeah, everybody that's, that got one in the market already, you need to get up off your ass, your marketing team. Get it right. Pony up that money and put it out there. That it's a market share. Because Apple still ain't nowhere ready. Exactly. And but you bet see they people, coming. They coming. They coming. People but, are excited about it. It's like so. Jay-Z when he talks about 50 Cent to, his, to the whole Dynasty Squad. Yo, this boy 50 coming. And he gonna come hard. Get it out now. Get it out. You know what I'm saying, Paul? So, you know what I mean? Like, he coming through. So get ready if 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 and Oppo needs a hit. Oppo needs a hit. They need they nah, don't need Oppo's a hit. Fucked. They need a grand slam. Yeah. Huawei. They're they on that Huawei. Grand you know, slam. Oppo. Huawei, Huawei is doing Oppo. much better than it. right. I get it, but they all need no. Grand I'm, slams I'm sorry. To get into this space. That was totally some dumb shit I just said. Oppo owns OnePlus. OnePlus. Huawei. They all need an RBI. Four, they need a grand slam. Huawei is closer to a grand slam than Oppo. That's fine. It doesn't matter who get it first. It just needs to happen. It's right now is the best time to have it. If they want to get into your, if, if they wanted my dad to say their name, they got to do it now. Okay. This is the only chance they're gonna get. Fair enough. Any any of these other companies, that's this is the only. Who sells an outright Huawei phone? Listen, listen. All right, so 
But before all that, I think we still need to uh, finalize a few issues uh, with foldable phones. You One, want it to be thinner? Oh, it doesn't really have to be thinner. I've Get had the LG a phone. phone, mad thin, and it's bendable. I, okay, where you at? We we need to figure out the gap that the Samsung phone has. That little girl gap. Yes. You need that. They need to it's figure. More flush. They need to figure out a more flush phone, which requires hinges in order for it to be a bit flush. But then now you have to separate the screens. You that is also saying? that is. I don't know if you guys peeped that in the review. I've seen. I've been looking at it closely, even like when I saw it in person. It's uh, like let's say you got Instagram open and you're scrolling. The screen you're touching is responsive one to one, but the other screen lags behind just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I only noticed it because a video was playing. I was like, wait. And then when you see it, you can't unsee it. Yeah. And you know, so synchronizing those two displays together because they're not one. Right. This, I mean, but but that that's those are displays that are partitioned around the hinge that are not uh, uh, that need to be synced. Like the fold, the Samsung fold is all one screen. I don't think it's one screen. I think it's one screen. Not with that delay that I saw. Oh, so it, you saw it on the Samsung? Yeah. I think the LG is one screen, right? Yeah. I thought that the, the display was one screen. Nah, I don't think so. So yeah. the plastic is the, is the it's what's one piece, but the screen is is is. Two. I, I don't know, I don't know. But based on what I saw with that lag between the two, there's no way that's one fucking. It could be one screen, but two panels. Maybe. Maybe. You know what I mean? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Cause you know they got like those ultra wide monitors out there. Yeah. That by software you can split them motherfuckers up into three different screens. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's some trickery like that, but technically it's one. It's one, it's one screen. screen. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Uh, I I feel yeah yeah you're right. I feel that uh, when you start when you are going into see everybody wanted a a a device that was more like a cell phone and less less of a tablet. So they came out with phablets. Oh, don't, don't start with me. Oh, 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 I know, I know. But phablets, phablets are just big ass phones yes. that were not practical for everyone. So they're trying to uh, mold practicality with functionality. And something always suffers when you coming up with something like that. Uh, I agree. And I want it to win. I, you want it to win. I, I want it to win because I'm a techie. Right. I also right. don't like that the other people are getting sun and their product works. True. Yeah, but you know what? No one is necessarily saying that the Samsung Fold does is not working. No, nah, he means like Huawei and um, like LG uh, and all. Uh, well, son, I don't care what you say. I'm coming from a consumer pers um, pr perspective. Right. Your phone is broken at two thousand dollars. Yeah. Maybe they got some of that Apple privilege going on. Uh, you know, once you because I'm the one person who was like, oh, I just wasn't buying Samsung phones when the battery thing was happening. My thing was like, yo, still buy the phone, and it, it, you know, take does it what it do. Then you just take it back. Yeah, right. I was still on that wave, and I was like, now is the best time to go get a Samsung phone because they're gonna make sure it works. Right, right. I look, me personally, I'm, I'm, I'm all for. If, first of all, if it's not a Microsoft device, I'm not I'm not first gen in it. No, not at all. I'll Did Microsoft I'll wait. ever have a really bad swing and a miss though? Yeah, when they bought it, yeah. But the hardware was good. But the software was I, good. No, I'm talking about like 1.0 products. Zoom 1.0 was good. It Windows, was solid. Windows phone. Number Windows seven, trash. Windows, 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 Windows Mobile, Mobile was Windows, Windows, Windows Mobile, Mobile was, was, was 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 awesome. It was just trash, it's trash for people now that we right. know what a smartphone should be like. And, and it's trash for people who had difficulty uh, being a power user. So yeah.
Uh, as what, far which as one was that? Wise, I don't think Microsoft have any issues with that. 1.0, they, they usually got, pretty good. They just got terrible messaging. That's that's Microsoft's problem. The only trash product Microsoft ever put out is 360. I know. I see why you say that. And fuck you. Yeah. Yeah. I can't subscribe to that shit. But fuck you. you know it's the truth. Because one of the biggest fails in technology history. We just had you a know what? we hold on hold on. We just had a conversation about PlayStation's eternal fail. And exactly. I'm not gonna get into it right just yet. Oh, you might as well because we, we gotta talk about that PS5. Well oh, tell me what eternal fail does PlayStation have from a launch perspective of hardware. The fucking control. I got nothing to do with this conversation. Oh, 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 oh. I beg to, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. You could have easily bought a Madcast controller. Well, first of all. You could easily bought a Nyko controller. That is, that is a band-aid on a bullet wound. Right. You're selling me a, uh, you're selling me a product that does not work for me. Did you play PlayStation 1? Yes, I had a PlayStation 1. What's the problem with that? It what the well I mean when the PlayStation One came out my hands weren't as big as they are now. That's however, okay. however, That's where we go. So however, you're into a Sasquatch is what you're <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe so you could never play it at NES game. Uh no. no. Yeah. So but this no. is my thing that got nothing to do with them as a as a you thing. Son. That's a very small group of people with large ass hands. Son, but there are people with motherfuckers bought a 365 times. Bruh, your hand is not that much smaller than mine. But and I more... don't have the same problem. I tell you what I do have a problem with. Paying $400 for a 360 to get red Xbox herpes, to send it in, to get it back, and then get herpes again, to send it again, and I buy another one that gets it, you send it, and they send back my original one, and it gets it again. So that then you was, create an elite. Listen, that was the biggest. That's apples and oranges. Consumer oh, okay. I like how we just turned those conversations. That's apples and oranges. Like I said, the we're talking about we're the talking. Only Microsoft product that ever took an L was the 360. Was the 360. 360. Other but than that, okay. their record is impeccable. All right. So now we're talking. I my argument was uh, a product that was from Gen One to Gen Now, the controller. It is not ergonomic. They're trying to make it ergonomic, but it is not ergonomic. All right. Um, I use ergonomic to you. I use a controller and I experience fatigue. Why am I experiencing uh, fatigue on a controller that is archaic? Well, first of all, the controller. I mean, dude. Uh, so you so you add two thumbsticks and now it's no longer archaic because the original play, PS1 didn't have thumbsticks until the DualShock came out. So the DualShock comes out and now it has two thumbsticks and now it's the best thing since sliced bread. It listen, wasn't archaic back then. Listen, Before I, they bro, added that to it, it wasn't archaic. Bro, I get it. I get it. The six, you had you had four controller buttons, right? Four controller buttons, and you had two uh, well, four face buttons. So you had eight. The the the, the PS One only had two shoulder buttons, uh, four uh uh uh, 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 uh tr a truck. I'm sorry, not A B C. What is it? X Y Z, X X O box circle. Box circle. Was the L1, L2 fuckery. The PS1 it was on the for initial gen PS controller. There was only an L one and an L two. There was no L two, L three, and L four. Oh, that's yeah. That's what I'm saying. It always had four shoulder buttons. Right. It only had two bumpers. Two two uh no. Uh, uh, it had. It, it didn't have bumpers. It didn't have triggers. It had two bumpers. It had the four buttons on the front, and it was uh, um, uh, another a D analog and a select and a and a, uh, 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 a select and a start. No, there was I'm four pretty buttons sure there was four shoulders. Bruh, do I have to pull my PS1 controller out that yeah, I still? Up, in? Pull up the internet, motherfuckers. Got twelve smartphones in here. Well, at any, at I'm any rate, pretty sure because that's how motherfuckers don't act get silly though. You might not get the answer. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Uh, that's what made Street Fighter at home a big deal, bro. Bro, we, we, at that time, no one really gave a shit about the lack of an extra button or two. You, you did what you did. We played Street Fighter on on uh Super Super NES. Right. That's fine, but you'll remember very quickly once you look at the buttons. Why we? Why it was such a big deal on the PS One? I enjoyed my PS One. The Sega Saturn was the problem with missing two buttons. Son, look, look exactly what the fuck I just hold on. All right, fuck that's, eBay. That's the wrong view. Exactly what the fuck I just. God damn it. That's son. The wrong view. Son. We're not looking for the PS One. Did I said this is the PS One 
analog. Uh, uh, oh no, 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 not, not this one, not, not this one, not this one. The DS one. It's this one right here. Images. That's the classic. Same, built off the same shit. Nah, it's not. All right. I'm gonna tell you right now. You're gonna feel really fucked up when you see those extra two shoulder buttons there. PS One controller. You're not gonna see it. It's, see it's 100% that. straight down. Just put the oh, top man. of the original PS1 controller. All right. We're, we're gonna fucking get to the bottom of this shit. I'm gonna tell you. Find out the buttons of one of the first PlayStation games ever made. No, it's nah, just that's one. A shot. It's a that's dual, a dual shot, shot. And it's but four buttons. Nah, you gotta yeah. yeah this is a dual shot. It. Son, it it only had two buttons. It's four buttons. Bro, bro. Because everybody copied it before the dual shot it came out. It's four buttons there. Bro. This is the other. It was a, a, a wide gray button. It. This is. It, this is the other side. It only had two buttons. Look up, look up the buttons with Cyclone filter. Hold on, son. Let me see, cause you can't trust the iPhone when trying to get accurate data. Son, I'm on Google, so that should tell you something. Yes. Uh, I just told you. Look up the buttons for Cyclone filter, me. Let me tell you why I know it's eight buttons. Hey, listen. Because if you play Bond, right? Right. If you play Bond. There's no analog, so you gotta look up and Bond down. Bond has only one analog, right? Right. So how are you strafing left or right? Okay. You're strafing left or right with left C and right C. The left C and right C on a on a, on a controller without an analog is L2, R2. Okay. Regardless of what. Here's, here's an accurate beat for you. This is the, to your point, right? Fucking PlayStation is stupid because you're using R1 to shoot instead of R2. Okay. The point that I'm... The point that I am making... Bro, you got big hands. It should not matter. You are marketing... You are marketing your product to the masses. That means you... In the back of your mind because I'm marketing this to the masses, that I have to market it to a big hands, small hands, a, a one-handed person, a two-handed person, a, a, a person with no hands, everyone. You, okay, you're marketing, you, and actually they do. They actually have, uh, uh, Microsoft has one. No, they have one now. Yeah, but PlayStation has one. Okay, but you have to market, you have to market your device to everyone, not just one demographic. All right, and they have said they've they've only made the uh, PS controller slightly bigger. It's it's like it's it's like it, it went from an adolescent to a fully grown adult, but it still is not it's still not ergonomic enough for me to not experience fatigue. Bro, right up in here, I'm in the middle. At the end of the day, what I will say what I'm is, saying is for you, bro. Cause this has been selling how many units for how long? Yeah. I mean, because people are buying whatever they're gonna buy, it, despite the fatigue. Okay, you can't play your PS4 or your PS3 for extended amount of times because you're gonna experience fatigue. But they're gonna play through it, or I can't. But they're gonna play through it because you know what? This game is it, this 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 game that is on the PS3 or PS4 is what I need to be playing right now. I, there are people who piss and shit on themselves uh, 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 because they don't want to get off of a game. The All right. I'm guilty. Stop that. Say what? Stop I'm that. guilty of said. <laughs> but a controller will stop that no matter how good that game is. Well, the controller will definitely stop it with me because if I can't no longer control the fucking character on the screen because I can't feel my hand, guess what? Well, I might as well get the fuck up and use the bathroom so I can now feel my hand. Yeah. But th th uh, unfortunately, I cannot feel my penis. So guess what? Guess who's fucking up the bathroom? Listen. Hello? Hello? Get it? Hello? Backwards. PlayStation did not fail you. Son. Son. Samsung has gotten out of two L's. And you can't put that out there because this is something actually breaking. You get what I'm saying? 
So if you Zoomers is gonna see that. Yeah, no. One way yeah. or another. And this is a 1.0 product, but this was your 1.0 product for them. Your 1.0 product should have only had software issues and hardware. Uh at this at this point in the game, no one is doing anything that we don't know already. You know. Everybody's executing on an idea or something that's already been done and they're just putting the other pieces together. We've had foldable stuff before. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And LG's been flirting with foldable for at least four years now. Right. We keep getting we keep hearing like four years ago we kept hearing we was gonna get a foldable phone from LG from the foldable and it, and it actually went to their TV. It didn't go to the phone. You know, but I I, I felt like I felt like a Samsung foldable device at this point at the current moment is too still too soon. I, I, I feel like it's too soon because when did they start? When did they start uh, 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 talking about? Uh, it don't matter when uh, they start talking. This the, shit was the in the for five years. Right, that's my point. So, so that's what I'm looking and for. That's a time. my four year ago comment about LG. But I'm looking for a timeline. So five years ago, they start talking about foldable screens. It started with OLED. Yes. Right. OLED had to get to a specific point. So now, so now. You have the ability to put out a screen that's curved. You have the ability to put out a, a watch that has a kind of a curved, what have you. But curved and folded is two different things. And I feel like as long as you haven't figured out how to fold the screen, one without there being a dimple down the, st the center of the screen, uh, two without there, without the use of uh, uh, separate displays, hence your lag issue with the um, yeah. with the uh, uh, Instagram. You haven't figured out. There are so much that you have not figured out that you didn't think about when you decided to put out the fold. No, I thought they think about it, but they thought it wasn't that big of an issue. Right, but it ain't an issue until you get people that uh, uh, reviewing your phone and they're like, "Oh, this no, shit's an issue." So if we remove the reliability issues that's happening right everything else is a non-issue it's an annoyance of a 1.0 product that you can get used to that's software yeah right. well, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I think it's fair I mean is it soft is it is, is the, does the Samsung fold today according to reviewers offer uh, software issues with without the reliability issues we're just talking in general so yes. hardware yes, software there's continuity issues okay so yep I mean, and then but, there, there's but, a conversation about how usable the front screen is. Yeah. So yeah, and, that, listen. and that's fine. All that would would launch. Fine. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Right, but listen, software issues. Software issues. Take for instance, uh, when they first, when they Samsung first introduced, um, what the fuck was it called? Where okay. you were able to no no, where you were able to. Uh, pin separate screens. Oh, yeah. To the, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when that was first introduced, you couldn't do that with um, a non Google or non Samsung no, 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 app. Non -Samsung. Yeah. So non -Samsung Instagram, thing. fuck out of here. Uh, whatever else, uh, your, my MCU account that I'm that I can hardly get on any other app that I can hardly get on on any other phone than I, I, Apple. Uh, you can't, I couldn't do it. All right, cool. So, the software issue, I feel like that's only a temporary issue because developers haven't figured out what the fuck Samsung yeah, is doing with they, they got it to a point where they're like, let's just get it rolling. We all, right. We all agree that's that. right. That's you know, your guys on the we same all, page. Okay, right. So now... Then there is no software issues with the Samsung phone. No, it's still a software issue, well, but that's one. To me, that's 1.0 stuff. What I'm saying right. is not acceptable for 1.0 stuff is the fact that the phones physically the, right. having problems. The hardware, right. right? The hardware is the issue, and, and yeah, that that's that's unacceptable. That's not acceptable. That's not acceptable because one, people are already today bitching about one thousand dollar phone, $1, right? Twelve thousand dollar phone, right? Twelve, sorry, twelve hundred dollar phone. And now right? this is almost two thousand. An extra eight hundred dollars, right? And we're having this problems before pre-launch. That's an issue. Yeah. And yeah. It's stuff that's like, like you said, yo, and, you could just put something on that says "Don't peel us." But and, now you put it on a box, right? Because this happens in technology in the retail world all the time. People do some stupid stuff. Now you got to send stickers to everybody who bought your 
you gotta send stickers to all the stores that carry your product to put this on it and say, don't do this, yeah. right? You do that. Right. Now you got dust getting under that screen that you're not supposed to peel issue. off. And it's another issue there. Oh, right. and because it's not glass. Yeah, it's, it's a film. It gets dinged easy. And the dings stay. So, which is so another issue, right? Like the foldable iPhone thing. What I mean, the foldable iPhone is the uh, the iPad. I mean, is like the shit bends. And iPad running around, I, I, and Apple saying like, "Yo, the shit doesn't bend." And everybody got videos on the internet showing it. The shit bends. The shit's bending, bro. Like, stop lying. Right. So then, my it, point still open stands. Open it out the box with a bend. With a bend, right? So, but then my point still stands. Why is this a thing? If they have not figured it out, I, you're rushing something out because you want to be the first. The, you want to be the precursor so to everybody oh, else. Right. Delay what's it. to what's we to be? But well, what's to say, be? Uh, what's, what's to be known here? And I haven't gone back and looked at any of the videos of the Huawei version. Uh -huh. Is this a Samsung thing? Because you were condemning foldable phones altogether. Me. Yeah. No, I'm not. You said foldable phones aren't ready. I'm like, wow. Yeah, well, no, it's, but that's not a condemnation. That's not a condemnation. That's a, listen, I believe in foldable phones, just not when it's at a point where you haven't figured it out yet. Get it right. And my feeling, my feelings is, um, if you have not figured out uh, outside of hinging the fucking two sides, then don't put it out. Right. Don't put it out. You know, there are certain, there are certain, uh, uh, elemental flaws that comes with folding a phone. Right. All right. One, if you want to keep the integrity of the entire device, you're going to have to. Uh, uh, either the the screen is going to need to be hinged with with the two sides, or uh, um, you have to figure out how to close that uh, that that uh, screen flat. Right. When you close the screen on the fold, it is not flat. It's not flat. And and but that's, that's something people that's, that's something easy. people can live with because the way it, cool. it yeah yeah that. it it's got a look to it right and they say the way it the way it closes it um which is it's like it's, a solid thunk and it's like nice and it's, tight there's and, metal there's sorry it's magnets that snaps it together yeah. right look I get it all right cool but. So now you have a protective film on the screen because of what? Because of what? I don't think it's... The way the screens react when they pulled it, I don't think it's protected. I think it's part of the fucking display. That they so, couldn't find a way to flesh all the way in to the side of it. I don't know. I don't know. So that's a fail. Like, like now you want to say what's uh, a fail and what's not a fail. fail so that's a fail. Be, it, it, but that, but that's, that's my point. It's a design fail. Yeah. Dogs. Until I we can. I can just imagine that happening in someone's. Cause it can't fit in nobody's pocket. You put it in your gym bag or something. And put it, it in a bag feeling. if you're a lady, your purse. And it just or shifting it, around and it gets popped up. Or like, it starts peeling why you, because why, you're exposing to, uh, to humidity. That's fucked up, Snow. What? <laughs> why just ladies? Bitches got purses too. Wow. Ladies, bitches, scumbags, scallywags. <laughs> you can't just omit this, them from the, the, the foldable conversation. This just got toxic. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, All right. So let's talk about the PS5. There's some exciting. Listen, if, as long as the fucking uh, uh, controller is still the same, nah, I'm thing. not subscribed to it. Sorry. Oh, the Son, PS4 the last, the PS4 amazing. controller has gotten so. The PS4 controller I can tolerate the PS4 controller. The other ones I could not. So let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Are the buttons, are the uh, the uh, the thumbsticks still? The, same. the thumbsticks are a problem for me. It's, it's a fucking fail. I'm not buying another <laughs> fucking. I'm not buying. Son, son, listen, son. Listen. So when. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. I'm going to save you the red. I'm going to save you the red. If you really want a PlayStation 4 today, yeah. there is a $100, $120 controller that son. you can buy. Son. That's, hold up. Son. There's a $120 something dollar controller that you can buy that solves that problem. Son, I'm not spending another dime. Do you have a PlayStation. <laughs> you have an Elite controller. I have an elite controller. Wait, wait, time out, time out. I time have out. it because time I out. want it. Do I time need out. it? I did not need it. I did not need okay, it. Then. Listen, okay, I then. need it. Do you want to play PlayStation? If, 
Yeah, you're right. So if I, wanna play I, if I want to play PlayStation, I, I, <laughs> I want to play PlayStation. Then you will buy the controller because you need it, son. No, no. Yo, Why? Give me a Chrome thing. Yeah, listen, thing works. listen, listen, Kronos Max. Kronos Max. listen, this shit works. why, why do I have a controller with a, a, a little, a little mushroom as a thumbstick? So now when my hands, cause my hands, they don't sweat normally, but if I'm getting it, I'm into the shits. The mushroom, now use mushroom. So what do they, you have the concave yes. joint? Yes. It's, it's a little con, it was just son, not enough. You gotta hold the controller, bro. Son, it's son. not bad. It's not, it's you not as Tetris? bad as the other one. So you play Tetris? Tetris. Yeah. Any kind of Tetris. Have you ever played Tetris? Uh, not on my, not uh, on I a Game Boy. Or a pack. Not on a, unless it's Atari. So I'm not playing those archaic games but, at this but point. You gotta time. understand why I'm bringing that up. Because if you're worried about the, the sticks, the analog sticks, you're not gonna get it any better than that. That's you, you're gonna get your workout on that out the gate. Bruh, I am familiar with the, 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 I am, I am so far familiar with um, Pac Man having the little knob. I get that. As a, and I, and I hated it. Okay. They put that same knob. We used to play, we used to play Street Fighter in a video store across the street from my house. And, because people did not know how to use the the typical, it was the slim, it yeah. like the slim uh, 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 black knob. Yeah. It wasn't a knob. It was just like a it slim the, cover. It was, like a, like a, like it was a, just street like fighter. Like the bottom of a light. Like a bottom of a um, of, of like a flashlight. Yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know what you mean. So people were destroying it. So what they did was because the, 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 the stick with the knob over it looked like a little old school shifter. Right. Uh, work seemed to work better at uh, uh, it, it, it didn't fail, it didn't break. So that's the one that was on it, and I hated it. I couldn't get my moves out, it was too stiff, it was short, it was like a fucking short shifter for Street Fighter. Yeah, what is he wearing? Uh, uh, what sneakers? Yeah, what are those? Uh, the, the mids. <laughs> so, so what I'm saying so, is you have to really play something that's gonna allow you to move that, that analog, the left analog stick around so you can really see what they've done. It's not that far from the Xbox. I get the positioning part. That I understand. That's a legitimate beat for you to have, right? Especially if you're used to playing on the Xbox side with an offset. Right. I get that. But what I'm trying to say is the analog button itself is not a mushroom. I agree to the mushroom thing. I always have. I've never disputed that. Because they rubberized it, and because the original Dual Shot mushroom stick was fucking plastic, and I'm like, it just had not, it had little little nad nads on it. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then they went to like, I know they went to a concave they went, one. They went to the smoke. Uh, they went to the fucking dog nose. One. My feeling is if. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dog nose, dog nose, <laughs> dog nose mushroom. And I'm like, I'm like, hold up, wait. Uh, why, why am I, why, why am I not able to f get this to function like my Xbox? And it's not your Xbox. You're goddamn right. I it's think not. that is the correct answer. And you know what? You know something else. You know something else. I have never experienced the Red Ring of Death. Nah, nah, we're going to take this out. Listen, I had four, three, six. I'm not, I'm not having that conversation. I, I'm, just, I'm just throwing it out I, there. I'm happy to hear and another person that has not had the, the, the Xbox Herpes. And but I know too many that it has. is on record as the most expensive recall in consumer history. That's why I'm not having the okay. conversation. $1.5 is what it cost Microsoft that whole debacle. Okay, I'm just saying... I fall like when people were telling me the that the Xbox was outselling, the Xbox 360 was outselling the PlayStation 3. Yes, because it, one dropped a year early and the Xbox, I mean the PlayStation dropped late, right? Two, you're not counting all the friends that I know that were buying two or three of these motherfuckers right, in the first that's year. That's a legitimate game. point. Okay, but now, now, moving forward, <laughs> moving forward. <laughs> oh, the cloth monster. Yeah. Moving forward. Why we we should not be talking about uh, the Red Ring of Death in this conversation because we're talking about 
future devices, future, and there has been no red ring of death for No, nah, you, you two got the conversations mixed up. No, 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 I know no, my conversation. No, 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 what I'm saying is the conversation we started have a different context and the conversation he jumped in had a different context. Yeah, yeah no. So that's how y'all got in that. But I'm well, going to. about launch stuff. Right, but. And, and I made a reference and he jumped on it. And I'm going to tie everything back in. I think we're on the PlayStation 5 so I think so. We're on the PlayStation 5. So, the Red Ring of Death is not a conversation at this point in time. However, if the fucking, whatever fucking controller is still a conversation, guess what? For it's you, for yeah, me, yeah, for it's you, a fail. For you, you know what? I'm very grateful because we've had plenty of these conversations about these 1.5 products. The Xbox One X, the PlayStation Pro 4. Fuck you people. You didn't deliver a 1.0 what it was exactly. supposed to be. You don't get to come and charge me for an iterative, uh, iterative device. Right. I don't agree with that, but I'm super grateful that whenever I turn on my PlayStation, fuck that thing, and my Xbox, pound for pound, they're still performing. Right. We weren't forced on some Apple shit. Oh, you want, you, you want the new version of iTunes? You gotta get that new iPhone. Point Neither one of them did that, and I'm right. very thankful for that. Yeah, like I said, we're amazing. about to be in a different generation. Yeah. Not only do I still have both of mine, PS4 and Xbox One, but they always worked. I give them credit for that. Credit for both. Okay. Credit for for for. I said I'm still rocking with my rigid, and they're both. They have no reliable reliability issues. Neither one of them. You know what? Because that is a win. For the, a gamer, the overall functionality of both devices still works, whether the controller is for me or not. I personally, bro, I'm not spending another red cent for anything. Technically, red is Nintendo. Who? Sony. That's true. You have to. You won't be spending another blue cent. I won't be spending another blue cent on anything Sony. If it can't work for me out of the box, I am not buying it. You would the fucking Xbox, hate the Switch. The Xbox works for you. Hell yeah. Box. The Xbox works for you out of the box, and you still bought an Elite controller. I bought an Elite Speaking controller. Of which, you don't need that controller. Absolutely. Do it this way, son. Thank you. Absolutely. Do it this way, man. I said I gave you a controller, yeah, but it was an Elite. Okay. You but don't it, need that Elite, wait, son. Wait, but it worked. <laughs> son, for whenever he decides to pick up his PlayStation controller and play a game on it that he can clearly get on the Xbox. I don't know. Last time I checked, I'm sorry. So, forth with the conversation about the PS5. All right, so PS5. Right. What are the what are the pros? I like what I'm. I, I don't like what I'm hearing, but go ahead. I like what I'm hearing, and this is not. A shot at Sony. This is a shot at Sony for me. Sure I like what is. I'm hearing, and then there's some of it I don't like. So the first part that I like is standard SSD. Agreed. Now, when this Xbox One and the, and the PS4 dropped, we were in the middle of two crises. A hard drive crisis and a RAM crisis. Yes. You're right. If you're trying to buy any of that stuff, you would pay in a pretty penny. It would have drove the system up higher than what it was. Yes. This would be with 500 terabytes, 500 gigabytes, and that was trash. Right, all right, cool. Now we're in a good space to where we can drop an SSD. By the time this drop, SSD prices for one terabyte, which I don't think it should come with, but I'll take that as a starter. This is excellent, right? What you want, smaller? No, I want bigger. If my phone is coming with a one terabyte, then my console better come with two. I want a two terabyte. At least four. Because it's just gonna be 4K content. Yeah. Right, and then we'll get, get to and that And how in a many frames a second? That, that goes without saying, right? So. Uh -huh. Yeah. Now the thing about the PS5 that we are hearing right now is that it's using the PCIe for uh, uh, port four, which means shit's going to be even faster be than faster. the SSDs that we're seeing right now. Right. Yes. So, faster, so with that said, they did the right. They did the test with Spider-Man, which to me had a very decent uh, uh, what they call it. The jump. When you do the test screen, fast travel, right? Yeah. Right. It had a pretty decent fast travel screen, which to me was dope. And yeah. this, the, that game had a one. Where if it ran for 30 seconds, you wouldn't mind it because it was a cool little thing. Right. So you go from the average 15 seconds, and I'm not sure if they tested it on the SSD 15 seconds or a standard PS5 drive um, for 15 seconds, but the new one is going to do it in 0.8 seconds. 
Mm, that's approval. That's a big approval for everything. Can I come back a, a quick second? Yeah. The conversation about the PS5 I'm excited about because generally this is going to be the conversation for the Xbox. Yes. They're going right. to be they're going to land very similar to each other. Right, right. So what we talk about for one, which I'm happy that it came out, we know what to expect for the other. But go ahead. Right. Okay. So that's going to be good for a single player person and a multiplayer person. Yes. Cuz now we're all coming in that's with presumably time. the same fucking hard drive. Because right now, hard drive spaces, uh, hard, hard drive times are all over the place. I got a two terabyte hard drive that struggles with somebody's 500, and then some people got a uh, SSD and it shows. Yeah. It shows on load up time, so that's cool. The second thing, which I'm not too happy to hear about, but it's in there, is the ray tracing. Wait, can we come back? Can we come back? Come back to the ray. Okay, go, go ahead. The the hard drive thing, and I'm I'm hoping Sony. You know, there's a, there's a stark difference in the way they 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 architect their products. Uh, if you want to look at what Microsoft is doing, look at Windows. Right. So there's there's options on Windows where you plug in you plug in an SSD. Mm -hmm. You can use it as a backup accessory to RAM. Right. The same thing with USB. Right. So I'm expecting that Microsoft, because they dialed it in in Windows 10, I'm expecting that Microsoft is a like you see. You remember how the Connect was sold, and in order. The Connect, they always said, the original Connect the, for the Xbox One, they always said, no, we can't do such and such because there were two cores of the GPU that were always assigned to the Connect. Right. And then they scaled it back and said, all right, now it's one core. Now it's, you don't even need have to do it. So, in a pinch, I would, I'm expecting Microsoft to do some shit where like, the SSD is that fucking fast and the throughput is that wide. Mm -hmm. If you want to do some shit like unlock, uh, unlock frame rate gaming, it'll section off a part of the hard drive right. that it could leverage to make. The, you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. To offload and help the GPU and, and get the performance. So that's something I'm looking forward to, and I don't see why Sony can't do the same thing. I can see why they can't do it. You think so? Because they're not a software company. But Sony knows what the fuck they're doing, man. Yeah, well, that's I'm sure they do. But that's that's just some techie shit I would love to see. Right. Because that would be dope as fuck. Like, this, the, the, like like pro mode. Sony has had four consoles and the Sega Saturn has done exactly what you just said that Microsoft is probably gonna do. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Yes. And how long ago was Sega Saturn? You're right. So So it's not yeah, they, I feel like they could do it. But now that now that the throughput and the bandwidth of the data is so trivial now, yeah. and the storage space is so trivial now, I feel like, yo, it's, go ahead and do it. You know what I'm saying? And just yeah. call it like the speed buffering mode, or I don't know what the fuck, but it's it's definitely something they can do. But get to the ray tracing, I think we have the same point. The thing with the ray tracing is, I'd rather it not be. So, we gotta explain ray tracing to the people. Yeah, because I'm, I'm not familiar. Ray tracing is pretty much a fuck ton of GPU resources to make real time reflections. Okay. That's all it is. Just to get real time reflections. The problem with, with ray tracing is these. This is the new generation of the, the graphics cards that are out, the RTX graphics cards. Right. And they cost a boatload of fucking money. Yes. Which means, which and is gonna drop When prices. these dudes enable that real time reflection, which is something you don't have to have in your gaming. Right. It's so taxing on the GPU and they're having problems touching proper frame rates. Mm. So whatever, I don't want that. Whatever game, whatever game you're playing is is breaking frame rate because of it, this function. Right. And the perfect example of this is they just came out with a the GTX 1660 Ti. It's a it's a new graphics card. It's a new graphics card that costs two hundred and sixty dollars. Of the new architecture, the only thing it doesn't have is that new ray tracing feature. Right. So the card is a fucking beast. But it doesn't have ray tracing and it's so much cheaper because of it. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, what are we sacrificing to get this little piece of eye candy that in the end of it doesn't matter because frame rate matters most. Right. And that's the that's the reason why the pro exists, and that's the reason why the X on X. Right? So the ray tracing thing is in there and I kinda of disagree with I'm that, just right? Heat. It's, gonna, it's gonna raise the price. 
is going to... There's no way I feel like they can harness this for a console zoo. Right. We don't need it at this point. Like, we're chasing the wrong thing already. Right, right. And uh, I think the ray tracing is going through an AMD, uh, Navi, uh, architect, whatever. And, yeah. You know, whatever. I don't... We don't know what the number of the RAM is going to be on the CPU, but that's what they are there for right now. Right. Right? Because if they say 8 gigabytes, <laughs> imagine having that without the ray tracing. Because right. gaming is happening right now without the ray tracing. Right. You get what I'm saying? And and they're able to pull these numbers. The the other part of it is they're gonna be riding on the Ryzen, the AMD Ryzen technology. I forget what version it is, like Zen 2 or something like that. I wonder why they keep going AMD because and not cheaper. AMD. It's mm -hmm. cheaper. And yeah, you customizing the fuck out of it anyway. Yes. So yes. AMD? Yeah. 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 AMD yeah. is fuck cheaper. AMD, man. Xbox nah, AMD. They've been AMD. running on AMD for a while when it comes All to that them. console place. So so, well, it's, since it's, since it's I okay. had when I was running that AMD and that um fuck what I had. I had a uh what the fuck was my com my computer? I, I remember what you hey, I was that, No, but we're not disagreeing. We're not, we're not disagreeing. I would never buy an AMD. Phantom card. Phantom 2. I would never buy an AMD card. But in our consoles, it's fine, right? And it's gonna be running on eight cars. The 3D audio, I don't really care about the 3D audio because they never been able really to get that. We've been having 3D audio for the longest. Yeah, and that's more trickery, like I was talking about yeah. in the last part. Now, my other problem with this is the 8K thing, right? Because that's a pull word, mm -hmm. and Sony has to say 8K because it's still Sony. Right. But even at 4K full, if you're talking 8K and you're doing the 4K full, you're gonna do tricks to get these games up to 8K, right? right. If you could run 4K full, fine. That's All I mean. care about is frames. It's frame rate, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody keeps saying it's 4K, this 4K, that it don't matter. Most times when I hear people clamoring about how good their game look, it's the TV, and then they don't know that their shit is running on an optimized version, giving it the higher spec, the higher frame rate. And uh, there's something I wanted, wanted to bring to to light about TVs. So TVs are now are now optimized. Uh, you, I'm sorry. TVs can now be optimized to run uh, games at a better. I don't want to say frame rate, arguably. but they're they're they're, they're arguably, 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 arguably. Uh, their their TVs are now spec to run games better than TVs were in the past. I disagree. So, well, you know. Plasma is right out the gate, just has right, the proper hardware. Right, right out now, the gate. Now what they're doing is turning off all of that fucking software processing and calling it game mode. Right. But there is. Yeah, I know, I know. There is the, I think NVIDIA's got a new line of gaming TVs. Yeah. That's got the G-Sync shit, which is like a handshake between the GPU and the uh -huh. TV. Yes, so those are coming. And but I don't think that's consumer. That's not consumer bill. Right. You, you know, I feel like until until um, until companies start uh, creating somewhat of a disparity between um, gaming televisions, like like you know how they got gaming monitors. Yes. You got gaming mon. Uh, sooner or later, you're going to have this disparity between gaming monitors. I'm sorry, gaming TVs and gaming. Uh, um, oh shit. Yeah. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. And yeah. Uh we're gonna have gaming TVs that function awesomely for uh left here. Nope, nope. Just keep going straight. Okay. Make this left, keep going straight. Cool. Uh between gaming TVs and uh your typical TV. Right. Whereas this this gaming TV, it's 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 going to it's it's going to work. Essentially perfect right. for which I think is cool and I right I do too and but I think that uh, now it's TV to TV like I can I can probably get my TV to run best uh, the my, the best level of gaming that I can for that TV whereas another one with a newer TV maybe you could get more performance out of it that it'll look better on that TV so it's like TV to TV I, I might. The, the the person two two four steps down may only be able to get 1080p out of a t out of a TV that that is supposed to natively run 4K for his games. You you understand what I'm saying? I like it's so yeah, yeah. it's just like yeah. what do you do? The you know a, what I'm saying? The AK call out for this right now, and, and 
it's straight. Gonna, yeah, keep going straight. It's only for media, right? <laughs> it's really going to be probably just for media, and it's also like a future proof type thing because yeah. they're not going to go dissless, right? And I, I know the Xbox just released, uh, yeah, you know, the that, dis-list, yeah. yeah. But like, well, can, can I stop you for a second? What the fuck? Why is the tow truck towing the tow truck with the cars that is towing a tow truck? Inception, baby. Inception. Tow trucks need tow trucks too, B. He got an Audi engine in there. <laughs> but he's, the car that he's, the, he's tow, the, the tow truck is towing a tow truck that has cars on it well, that is also can, towing a tow, tow towing truck. A car. Need tow trucks too, B. Uh, son. Boats need tugboats. Tugboats need tugboats. <laughs> <laughs> How do you release a boat into the sea? You use two other boats. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, 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 so the AK thing, I think what's happening already is, the, is that people are clamoring to that message and they're gonna run it. Oh, AK gaming, right? And, mm. and I keep telling people, this is this is the the, the, the the unicorn shit that everybody keeps chasing and no one has. Right. right? Nobody right. has it. Gamers on PC are struggling to get 4K. to get 4K gaming solid, and especially struggling. with some real rates. They're hurting their pockets just to do it. I don't care what you if if there's a PC person who's gonna comment on this, don't before you open your mouth. Tell me how much you spent to get that versus the convenience of a console. Man, fucking thousand dollar cards. So these are prices that console players are, are not going to pay. Thou shalt not offend the master race. Nobody's offended. <laughs> you, you, you want a premium? You gotta pay premium. Yeah. Definitely. Pay premium. You know, I think I think that as far as a uh, as far as a uh, uh, a PC gamer, when it comes to PC gaming, I feel like that is a person that expects nothing but the best from their gaming experience so where do you get the best gaming experience according to you know i guess maybe a general consensus would be pc gaming mm -hmm. but when you think pc gaming versus console gaming console gaming is not it's the the market is divvied up between people who are hardcore gamers and people who are children you understand what I'm saying? Then you have those people that are just adults that just enjoy playing games. Like, no one is really... Not even just adults, just anybody just, in general. Right, anybody in general. So, I mean, I think that argument... I think it was a fun a fun and or fun neat argument, PC versus console. But I think that generally, uh, consoles will probably make much more than... Uh, 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 PC gaming always, always because the, of the the, the, the point the, that the, the cost of is, entry is lower. Right. Yeah. yeah. The other thing too is, you know, I mean, when you when you had that PC talk, it's a very specific use case. There's multiple things that's happening there, you know. But a lot of times, what people forget is, no matter what, the biggest percentage of that one, if we look at Steam statistics, they're not even hitting the shit that everybody's talking about. Yeah. Right? It's lower. Two. I wish they would release the sizes of the televisions or the monitors that these things That's are being run on. Mm -hmm. It's always on 27, a 26, yeah. a 24, and in some cases, very I'm not rarely, playing. I'm not gaming 32. on that. Nobody's game. Nobody. No. People, console gamers are not running on that. And I'm pretty sure that picture technology isn't the same. Something is different when you got to run it for a home television. Yeah. Something yeah. is different. Fundamentally different, right? So, on that note. We can still penny pinch with the numbers. Now, the other part to this PS5 thing that I'm speculating on is because I believe Xbox is doing this because Scorpio is already, like I've been saying, the Xbox One X is the next gen console. I don't care what nobody says. It's just going to become base one, not base zero. Base zero is going to be these all these S uh, the things. S models, right? Like, yeah, it's going to be base one. The PS5. It has got to be the first console that automatically brings everything over from the previous. Yeah. Seamlessly. It has mm -hmm. to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I understand the point of, well... Microsoft bridged the gap, but I don't think they did it seamlessly. It, it, no, but they will going forward if they want that mm -hmm. money. Because mm -hmm. not only will it do that, it would also bring over the 360 library that they're still investing money into. Right. Yeah, I think they'll get it right this <clears> time, though, because that was that whole ploy of taking Xbox exclusives over to the PC. And I think they can do it. And 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 mm -hmm. my expectations for not just the PS5, but the X, the next Xbox, right, is that is literally like me having a PC. Meaning, mm -hmm. if I upgrade my PC parts or just my whole PC in general mm -hmm. and I own all this content I can play it over there 
Mm -hmm. I could go build a new, we can go to Micro Center right now and build a whole new machine. Everything that I have on my Steam and my Origin and all that goes right over to that goes right machine. Over, yeah. But you remember, and that's what I want. you remember me saying a while back on one of our videos, I, I live for the day where they they bridge that gap, meaning you get a, a, com, a componentized console. Mm. Like this is the base, it's gonna do what it's gonna do. Right. But if you're an enthusiast and you want to swap out here, you can swap out the GPU, GPU for yeah. this one. Yeah, yeah, or, yeah, 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 yeah. Or instead of buying a whole new Xbox One X, we'll release the Xbox One X module. Right. I don't I don't see a problem with that. Me personally, I, I think that's dope as fuck. I need to go to that fucking Dollar Tree. Like, Dollar Tree is life. Son, or is it ever? But I mean, I'm excited to see what they do. At this point, uh, I I think a play the play for a console to be relative in today's world, um, they need to be very price conscious. Mm -hmm. They need because from what we're seeing is crazy fucking. Outside of the conversation Snow just had about, well. Motherfucker's still not gaming on the 32 inch monitor. Uh, I feel like you're, you can get a graphic card for $280. That's a straight fucking beast in the PC world. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think Microsoft can charge $500 for a new console. I don't think PlayStation can either. You know what I mean? Like, but, I mean, what is? What? I would be. I wouldn't be shocked if that shit comes out the gate swinging at three hundred. Has has what has there been any uh, conversation about um, uh, price pricing? Nah, for, uh, it's, too yeah, it's, it's too early. It's way too early. It's too early. I've never. We in Far Rock, right? Yeah. And actually, no. We in Five Towns. Five Towns. Five Towns. Oh, um, Five Towns, Nass. Damn, damn, Nassau. That way. <laughs> Welcome to Nassau. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see what they do. I want to see what the pricing. I want to see what the um, what what the the architecture is supposed supposed to be the same. And everyone's speculating, so I'm, I'm, I want to see what they're gonna do with that. All right. So now you you said the architecture is the same. I mean, when you say architecture, are you referring to the, the, the way they the, build the, the build the, the build? Oh, the cook. So the way they they're building the games, right. the software. Right. right. So that means that they can automatically import that whole. PS4 library over, and right. at least in theory, that's what it means. That okay. was that was okay. traditionally why um, Microsoft had that issue too, but Sony more so mm -hmm. because because the, the, the PS4 was a whole different. Like, look at the PS4 is like a fucking cell phone chip, right? But then I'm sorry, the PS3, the PS3 is a cell phone chip, wildly powerful. But then the PS4 as a more of a PC chip, right? It's just different worlds, right? Mm -hmm. So it, it they means... couldn't take. They could like they had to make an emulator mm. to get the old shit over, and emulators are no good. Yeah. And and at the same time, this is what caused problems for people making games on the PS3 because nobody knew how, nobody could understand right. that shit. It took too long for people to right. do it. Right. Meanwhile, people could just bring over a game from PC to the Xbox 360 with no problem. And the proof is in the pudding because a lot of the PC, a lot of the the, the piece traditionally the, the PC game developers are able to code a lot of stuff for console players. Mm -hmm. So the performance out outright of the, the, the brute force of the, the graphics cards. Right. But the games kind of ran right. Right. Mm -hmm. There was no crazy under, shit. Under the, the new stuff that they're doing now. You know what I mean? Well, yeah. the current stuff. I'm yeah, going, going, 